conversation this week is with Susan Cruz, the executive director for the Community Climate Collaborative. And we're talking about a little bit of a controversy uh, this week about a church in town that wanted to put solar up on their roof, but their application was denied. So kind yeah. of fill us in on what happened. Yeah, so this is a local church, First United Methodist Church here in downtown Charlottesville that has a donor, um, they've raised the money and done the work to, to go solar on their facility. It's estimated to save them $11,000 uh, in energy costs per year. Uh, but because the church sits in a historic architectural district, in Charlottesville, their application to add the solar was rejected by the local board of architectural review. Gotcha. All right. So you, in response to this, in trying to do your part, wrote a letter to the editor, mm -hmm. the Daily Progress. And what is C3's perspective on this? Well, I mean, really, it's understandable if the bar is like going off the regulations that they have. But this code that they're following was last updated in the year 2003. So this is 20 year old code um, that they're responding to and following. And it's really time in the last two decades, solar has come a long way. Sure. The technology has improved both from a, a visual, it's visual pleasing and effective. And it's time really for our local governments to grapple with some of this old uh, code that still exists. And because there are a lot of barriers to putting on solar and doing other uh, energy efficient climate forward things with your buildings and with some of the codes that we have. Now you say local governments. So mm -hmm. is this a Charlottesville thing or does this happen everywhere? This happens everywhere yeah. uh, in every locality. In fact, Albemarle County has code that was last updated in 2013 that prevents solar from being added to rooftops in entrance corridors in Albemarle County. So those are the roads going in and out of the county, so 29, 250, Rio Road, you name it, almost every road in Almaro County is an entrance corridor and you cannot alter the visibility of roof lines in entrance corridors in Almaro County. So that is 2013 code that needs to be updated, but localities across the Commonwealth are in a similar situation. And we really have to grapple with this as local governments. The federal governments passed good legislation, the state has, but now we're hitting these local roadblocks and we've got to fix it. And quickly, we know you've been w working and talking with the city and the county about mm -hmm. issues like this over the last few years. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, we're hopeful that as part of Albemarle County's comprehensive plan revision and the city's zoning rewrite, that many of these codes will get rewritten and updated. And the church has appealed, the First United Methodist Church has appealed that decision to Charlottesville City Council and Charlottesville City Council will ultimately decide the fate of the solar project on that church. All right, Susan, appreciate your insight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Casey.